Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Marcus Aurelius, and this is Crusader Kings II, the Byzantine Empire. And we are probably at the low point of our entire campaign so far. We've got a queen who is disliked by most of the population, purely for the fact that she is a woman and she hasn't been reigning for very long, but also because she lacks good personality traits in order to make people like her even more. To make things worse, she is chaste, which means that she is very unlikely to have a child. In fact, I'm thinking that might be a good idea. I'm going to cancel her ambition to have a daughter because it adds fertility to her, and I'm just going to hope that she doesn't have a child, and that our heir will be Tristan, who will hopefully have a very large and powerful family. I'm also going to be moving around my council a bit. I've decided that the best thing to do for my Ecclesiarch is to research cultural tech here at home, since the religion seems to be spreading just fine on its own. My spy master is not going to scheme to try to get people to leave plots, he's just going to come home and try to uncover plots against the family. My Sacalarios is going to collect taxes. My Stratigos is going to continue researching military tech, and my Magistros is going to do what my Mysticos was failing to do, which is basically making my nobles like me more so that they quit these plots, the first one being Epirus. He's very good at what he does, so hopefully he will cause them to like me one at a time. So we're just going to sit tight, let the clock run, and hope that everything is going to be okay, and these factions are not going to grow over large. This one's right, right about 50% of my strength. One way I'm going to do that is by increasing my prestige, because for every 100 points of prestige, you get plus one to your vassal's opinion of you, up to 20. So I'm going to try to create some duchies, starting with Cyprus, in order to gain prestige, and so as a result, opinion. So, you are content, and you're a fortune builder and lustful, so that yeah, sounds like a plan. I'm going to give you the title of the Duchy of Cyprus. It appears, though, that he doesn't have control over this. This belongs instead to the Duchy of Thessalonica, which makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. I wonder if I can... well... Yeah, no, there's nothing really I could do to help with that, so it is what it is. As you can see, it is a pretty penny to create these duchies, so I have to do it slowly. But as I do it slowly, my positive opinion will go up, and things will hopefully be better for us. I'm letting my troops here recharge. They have about a thousand more to go. The stronger they get, of course, the less likely people are to want to rebel against me. I'm actually going to speed things up because I'm not doing anything particularly interesting. I'm just basically trying to buy time. And there we go. Duchess Garifalia's opinion has changed to plus 30. So we can now move him to someone else who hates me because so she's probably going to quit the faction. Duchess Kale of Anatolia. She is here? No, she's here. Okay. Can I not move you? Is it too soon? Yeah, I have to wait. Oh wow, another five months. Oh well. So it goes. Kale will be the next one that I go to try to woo. Winning a war, let's say, against Bulgaria will not do too much, unfortunately, to improve my situation. Well, it will give me some prestige. Let's do it. We don't have anything to lose. Nona, Juliana, and Konstantios. Let's take out Bulgaria for fun and profit. Sixus has become regent for do Dr. Quacksalver. I love how the names are carrying on from generation to generation. It's like an official Byzantine name now, Dr. Quacksalver. So basically we're just going to wait until Tristan becomes an adult, get him married, 
Hopefully he'll have a boatload of kids. And that's basically the plan. Oh yeah, this is gonna be this is gonna be easy. Sixtus is no longer the guardian of Dew, Dr. Quacksalver. Apparently he's guarding himself. And crap, she's pregnant. I just I took off your fertility. And I'm telling you right now, it's gonna be a girl, which is gonna make everybody hate her even more, because that's just how these things work. And we are going to be in terrible, terrible. She'll probably die in childbirth as well. Okay, this county belongs to us. But Bulgaria still doesn't want to give up. I suppose I don't blame them. We can go to Tournu. I mean, there's not much left to Bulgaria, to be honest. It's a shell of what it once was. We'll just keep storming territory until they give it to us. This will give her some prestige, keep her on the throne a bit longer. Wow, only 60%, huh? They're going to make me conquer every inch of Bulgaria. Dangerous factions. Not really. Not more than I'm... What? <laughs> it disappeared, then it came back. You know, whatever. Yep, Duchess Zene of the Aegean Islands is now the leader of this plot. Can I move already? Good, 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 good. All right. What? What just happened? There we go. All right. What? What's the problem, Bulgaria? Maybe we'll free Constant Constantia or whatever. Oh, he wants to give up. And we have won. So that's a little bit of prestige that'll be very useful for us. Plus we can give it to somebody and it will make them very happy. Possibly someone who has who's great at something I need. A good diplomat. Your account ruler new. No. Pantoleon is a eunuch, I believe. Demetra. Magistros of Agrigentin. She's 48 years old. She's ambitious. But, and she does have an heir. Or doesn't she? Why aren't you an heir? I don't understand. Oh, cause, probably because she's not a noble, so they don't count as an heir. You. Magistros of Almafok. You were Croatian, though. Screw you. You're Greek. Trusting and... Content. Just what I like. Welcome to the nobility, sir. All right, that gave us some prestige. Now we're up to plus 13 with our vassals. And we could probably create a new duchy. Celestia is too big. Why are they not highlighting them for us? I want them to be highlighted. This is not working. What? Let's try again. What? Ah, there we go. Oh, here we go. The Duchy of Colonia. It's only two provinces. Seems like a worthwhile thing to do. All right, now who are we gonna give that to? We have this gentleman, who is ambitious, nope. And we have this gentleman, who's not ambitious. His heir is not ambitious. So that seems to be the way I want this to go. All right, now Colonia is a duchy and we have just a smidge more prestige. Let's get our troops back home. Actions are. Man, Bulgaria has fallen on hard times. That was a pretty easy war. F oh, factions are lowering. Fantastic. There's only four of them, and 
They're down to 40%. Dangerous factions. I'm not too worried about it. That's my weakest one. It's like the last faction I need to be worried about. Alright, so the Empire is looking fairly strong. al Turki is holding out against the Abbasids. And so is Arabia. And Wow, now would be a great time for a holy war, wouldn't it? Let's take a moment to look and see. Oh, they have a big bunch of troops here, though. A holy war, I believe, would cause people to like me even more. What kind of strength do these people have? Yeah, you. What's your... You can raise roughly 4,400 troops. And you own Jerusalem, personally. Okay, so what can I take from you in a holy war if I were to decide to do that? Outra Jordan, which is four counties, pretty solid. One county, one county, one county. So, it would make sense to do Outra Jordan first and then go into Jerusalem instead of just trying to take it one county right now. That wouldn't really be worth it for us. And this would give prestige, moral authority. I think it's worth doing, but the way this works, before I declare war, I want to get my troops in place. And of course, as I said, we have a daughter. Because it's just this game hates me. Scholastica. So she's next in line for the throne. And that means that factions are going to get stronger because now everybody's going to start hating us for having a female heir. Well, maybe not the women. Jihad for Syria. The great Shia Caliph Al-Qazim has decided to call a jihad against the Kafirs of the Kingdom of Syria. This is perfect. This is so perfect. Now, look at this. Everyone loves me because I'm defending against the infidels. And they're way over here. So they are going to be coming at us small armies at a time. We'll be able to crush them, win tons of prestige, tons of moral authority. I, I really wish you wouldn't have had a daughter, though. Can you pick a new ambition to have a... To have a son? This is terrible. I mean, as soon as this war is over, everybody's going to start hating her again. And if this, if this little girl, Scholastica, should get sick... You know, should trip over a rock. We're going to be in terrible trouble. So, she really needs to have more children. You either have no children or you have a lot. And so, if you just have the one child, I'm going to slap you. Hopefully, his overabundance of fertility will make up for her horrific lack of it. All right, so they're coming for Syria, which is here. So as long as I kind of hang out here, I'm pretty sure the Abbasids are going to stay as far away from this as possible because they've seen the hurt that I can bring down. And if that's the case, I should be able to take these guys out just with my retinue. Yeah, the Abbasids are staying, staying away from this. So we're just going to hang out and wait for the jihadis to arrive. Looks like the Abbasids beat al Turki, but now they're going off against Arabia and Nifud. Nifaud? Ni somebody. And here comes nine boats. So that means at most they have 900 people. Not an impressive force. And they're disembarking at some point. Ah, no, they're just going away. The sight of my magnificent army is up. Oh, 38. 29. So that, oop, 30. Okay, now we're getting a challenge. But if they come to me one at a time, we will crush them. Okay. Oh, excellent. This is excellent. Hopefully we'll be able to crush them before they get together. 
to like that. Let him rot. Actually, let's not let him rot. Let's ransom him. 70 gold, I'll take it. Alright, so they outmaneuvered me. They were able to get together. But it will do them no good. Because they cannot stand against my Varangians and my Cataphracts and my loyal retinue. And again, I have no fear whatsoever of civil war while we're involved in this because everyone loves me a ton. And we just earned 11% war score. Demetria has died in childbirth. We're losing Aurelii and Theophilos. Alright, up to 13% war score. So this war will take a while, it appears, but that's okay. That'll give little Scholastica plenty of time to grow up and be safe and healthy. And this time, I don't care what anybody says, I'm raising her myself. In fact, I, I just thought about this, I was reading a couple nights ago that one good way to get people to like you is to raise their children. So who's... I think Sicily is still the most powerful, but he... Well, they all love me. This guy doesn't love me quite as much as everyone else. But yeah, female ruler, female heir. That's a big problem. So, do you have... Do you have an heir, sir? I'm your heir. And you're old. Yeah, I'm not too worried about you. Okay, what about you? Do you have an heir, sir? You do indeed. 15 years old. I would very much like to educate him. And you will like me more. I think that's a great idea. I do so love educating children. Here come 12 more boats. And yep, he accepts. Okay. We're up to 75. Yep, that's not enough. Guys, hate to say it, but you're all going to die. That's not even enough to storm the castle. My ward Eustathios is a charitable little rascal. He just gave his newest toy to the smith's son. He's turning out well. He will gain one diplomacy. I can praise him, which will give him one diplomacy and prestige. He would get greedy. Charities for the weaklings. Let's... Let's praise him. Why not? Well, no, because then everybody will dislike him. But he'll gain prestige. Let's just, let's just, he's turning out well. He's a good little boy. I could give him a terrible trait, you know? That's kind of a way to sabotage my rivals, but this guy's not really a rival, and that's kind of a nasty thing to do. And our war score is now up to 17%, 30 20%, okay, where are you going, Arca? So this, things are working out pretty well for us. This was a well-timed jihad. I just wish this dumb empress of mine would have had a son instead of a daughter. That would have solved many of our problems. But apparently she cannot even pick an ambition. Which doesn't make any sense to me. I mean, she has terrible stats. I mean, you, you think she'd have the ambitions to improve one of them. But apparently she cannot have an ambition. She's not very ambitious. Okay, we are now the Duchess of Paphlagonia, which we do not want to be. So, where is that? No, honestly, where is that? Paphlo it's up around here somewhere, isn't it? Paphlagonia? I want to give it to someone who lives there. Maybe if I... No, Nike is what I want. I want that. Paphlagonia. There we go. Okay, alright. 
So we have this fellow. Yeah, he's okay. We have this fellow, who's not that okay. And we have me. So I should give someone, well, hopefully someone humble this county and then give them the duchy. That would make sense. Are any of you humble? Eudokia, you are a fortune builder. You're pretty cool, and you're a flanker. 19 stewardship, that's pretty dang good. You, though, Andronikos, you are awesome. You're craven and humble. You. You can have the Duchy of Paphlagonia, as well as the County of Ansira. Now, you love me. All is right with the world. Okay, now see, here's Tristan, Midas touched. Fantastic. He's he's amazing. He would make an amazing emperor. Please accept my offer to join you in the Shia Jihad for Syria. Alright, if you want to. I don't need you. But that's fine. Alright, so we need to get Tristan, who is awesome and would make the best emperor ever. Oh boy, we're gonna have to marry him off, and we're not giving him any land. Everybody in the Empire is going to look at this guy and go, Oh my, he would make so much better a ruler than Dr. Clinical, and they're going to want to put him on the throne. So you are just going to sit here in the capital. If you make any plots, we're going to castrate you. Sorry, it's just how it works. Who should we marry you to? Really, the best we can do is a Catholic Duchess who's 12 years old. Well, with this, this she's possessed. That's too bad because you would have many children with her. Midas touched. Eighteen. She's a marshal. She's attractive, so the kids might be attractive, proud, and wrathful. She wants to get married. She's pretty awesome. She's not zealous. She's also attractive. Oh, look at all these. This. Oh, why? Why? Dr. Clinical, why do you have to be so terrible? I could marry him off to one of these great women and we could rule with with an iron fist and, and expand the borders of the Empire and just do many, many wonderful things. But we can't now. She's shy. I mean, Alex here is definitely... Well, they're both shy, but she's superior when it comes to statistics, especially diplomacy. Any, everything but... Yeah, everything, actually, except for learning. They're both attractive. She's deceitful. She's kind. She's proud. She's brave, Roth. I'm going to go with Alex. Do you, I just want to look at you first, though. Okay, you don't have any title claims or anything like that. Okay, shoot, now I have to find her again, but that's okay. And with that, we will end the episode. I just want to make sure this goes through. Alex, there you are. Oh, look, I have another... I have another uh, cousin. Look, and she, even she's good. But she's Catholic. Why do I have a Catholic cousin? All right, Alex. Let's do this thing. At least you'll benefit the dynasty. Oh, man. I mean, she jinxed it. She wanted a daughter. Okay, is she here? Has she come? She has. All right. Hi, Alex. Oh, you like me. That's cool. Become Orthodox. And what's up, Tristan? Damn. You hate me. Because you're a pretender and claimant. I guess there's not much I could do about that, except give you some money. And now you're okay with me. And really, that's that's about it. Can I build anything in my domain? Shipyard? Nah. Boats are expensive. Keep. Okay. And our prestige is almost at 2,000 already anyway, so I don't have to create any more duchies. And she's become orthodox. All right, hopefully they're going to have just a whole mess of kids... 
county of... Oh, right, Kizikos, right. And it looks like they've given up. Even though we're only at 28% war score, they are apparently not sending any troops to us. And you know, I'm in no hurry. I can let this war grab go on for years and years and years and years. Eventually, the war score is going to raise in my benefit anyway. And it, again, it keeps my vassals complacent. We have all these Georgians helping me out. And Princess Rupitia needs a guardian. Do I still have... No, the other, one, the other one's grown up. So, okay, we can do... Where is she? We can raise you. And you'll like us a bit more. That's a winning strategy. And that appears to be that. These jihadis, I'm up to 31. I just have to sit out the clock, I guess. Not many people want to help him. I could white piece out of it probably really easily, but I want to crush him and gain a ton of prestige. Where are you guys going? Who are you fighting against? The Safarids are evading Georgia and you're helping. You want to help me? Okay. The Bulgarians? We are allied with the Bulgarians who we've been just tearing apart the past hundred years. That's, that's cute. 122 guys, huh? You really want to win this uh, this jihad, don't you? Declonia wants to amass wealth. Okay, how old? Scholastica is one years old. Okay. We don't appear to be wanting to provide her. Oh, another child. Boom. Now, now things are looking up for us, folks. Thank goodness. 14 boats full of angry Muslims. Soon to be dead Muslims. And we can have an ambition. Is having a son... Why don't you want to have a son? Do you hate men? I don't understand. Everybody should have the option to have a daughter and a son, and you don't. And why? I don't understand. It makes no sense at all. Improve your stewardship. And from now on, I don't care how good someone is, I'm not letting them raise my kids. I'm only raising them myself, because apparently even great people raise terrible kids with no good traits. It's, it's terrible. Alright, the year is 941. To put this into perspective, folks, we are still about 80 years from the time that the, that the real-life Pharangian Guard was even started. Meanwhile, we've been conquering pretty much all of everywhere with them. And as soon as this jihad is over, I think I'm going to go full holy war and just just take everything. Take it all. We're at 40% war score and they're sending this is this is not even funny. I mean, they're sending such small groups of people that they can't even siege the castles that they're supposed to be sieging. I mean, it's laughable. It is completely laughable. Our diplomat is having a hard time making this person like me, though it's not really necessary anymore since our faction index is pretty low. In fact, can you... Well, there's really nothing I need you to do. So you can just keep doing that. I'm... Oh, you've succeeded in that. Okay, well... Let's send you over to... Was it this one? Anatolia? Yeah. The Georgians have their own problems here, so they're probably not going to be doing much to help me, to be honest. They're fighting off these Islamics. As much as I don't like the Georgians, I don't like the Safarids at all either. Lately, I've become afraid that someone might want to hurt me. I'm thinking about hiring a no two food tasters. Maybe a bodyguard would be a good idea. Paranoid. What does that do? Intrigue plus two, diplomacy minus one. Or trusting. Intrigue minus two, diplomacy plus one. Trusting. Diplomacy is a good bonus. 
and I have my spy master to make sure that nobody kills me. Wow, this war is going on. Can I declare another one? Can I just holy war these guys? I can. Well, why not? I mean, our troops are running around anyway. Another daughter. Oh, we're having one of these runs again, huh? Welcome to Sage Master. Sage Mistress. Sage Mistress. All right. Oh yeah, twins! All right, now we're in business, folks. We are in such business. And this is... Oh, well, I have to be fair, but this, this person really, really wanted to be a girl, but again, I have to be fair. I can't mess the list. I said it was going to be in order of signing up, and that's how it's going to be. So this is Yachnotimus. Welcome to the team, Yachnotimus. Oh, shit. She's going to die in childbirth, isn't she? So we're going to have a regency for like 15 years. Please get better. Please, Dr. Clinical. I have faith in you. I have faith in you, Dr. Clinical. You need to get better. Please get better. Oh, yes. Oh, boy. We are... We are on the midnight train to Crazy Town right now, ladies and gentlemen. Things are... Although my troops have never been of higher strength than they are now. So that is good. This, this jihad against us is quite pitiful. Up to 52% war score. Tristan had a daughter as well. The family is growing. This will be... Partilia. Or Partilla. And that's a C, isn't it? It sure is. Alright. Welcome to the team, Partilla. And with the birth of Partilla, we are going to end the episode. So, our family has grown by leaps and bounds. We have navigated a stormy sea, but it appears that things may indeed be working out for us. As long as this jihad continues, and... Dr. Clinical stays healthy, at least long enough for one or more of her children to reach adulthood, I think that we will be able to continue going. And for someone who is chaste, three children, I think, is quite an accomplishment. So my hat is off to you, Basilissa, Dr. Clinical. Thank you very much, and thank you for watching. Have a good one.